Developments are surfacing tonight on the death of a mother on board a Southwest jet. The coroner ruling Jennifer Riordan died from blunt force trauma. She was partially blown out of the plane when its engine exploded over the skies of Pennsylvania on Tuesday. Shrapnel went through the plane's window, hitting Jennifer in the head. Seven others were also injured. Uh, the fatally injured passenger was seated in row 14. And so our experts have been documenting the the window frame area to understand how the wind came out. The woman behind the controls of that plane is getting credit for being cool under pressure and likely preventing further loss of life. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Michael Palusco went through a flight simulator. He shows us what it took for that pilot to safely land the plane. So let's say we just had engine fire. I confirm which one is the engine. Alarms, emergency alerts. Right now we're going down a, like fast. All screaming at you at once. We are in the cockpit of a 737 that is similar to what Southwest Flight 1380 would have looked like. Our pilot Peter Repack simulates the best he can what Captain Tammy Jo Schultz did to land the plane with one engine. Because if you lose one of your engines, so be it. But having cabin pressure loss, that's a problem. This simulator can't mimic how the explosion of the left engine made the plane bank left on its own, the screams of the 144 passengers on board, but it shows how Schultz, described as a pilot with nerves of steel, kept her cool. And she did exactly what she has learned. Repack is a private pilot, never actually flying commercial jets, but in this simulator, he can do mock emergencies. In this scenario, he simulated an engine failure, something pilots train for day in and day out. You don't just start reacting. And it's amazing in this simulation to get a perspective on how calm and cool and collected the pilot had to be. While there was 20 minutes of terror, people calling their family members on social media, the pilot here had plenty of time to land this plane. Schultz's communications with air traffic control emotionless. She had to take emotion out of the way. While the pilot and crew stayed calm, a nurse performed CPR on mother of two Jennifer Riordan, who was partially sucked out of the plane and hit by shrapnel. She didn't survive. Preliminary information from the NTSB is that the engine suffered metal fatigue. Repack safely landed his simulator with one engine, but wants to know more about the heroics that saved all of those lives. What happened, why it happened, and how we can avoid it. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.